Welcome to the Here's My Story channel. I'm Jessica. It was my birthday. The doorbell rang. I went to open it, but there was no one at the door. I was surprised to see a present on the floor. I kneeled to pick it up. The card on it said, Happy Birthday, Jess. But I'd already received my birthday gift. My mom asked me what I wanted. Sunglasses, I answered. The other day, she and I went shopping and bought me a fabulous pair of shades. So where did this mysterious gift come from? I looked around, but the street was empty. I took the package and went to my room. I opened it and saw a small camera inside. What in the world is this? I mumbled. Was it a surprise gift from my dad? I wished it was, but unfortunately that wasn't possible. My dad changed a lot in the past few years. I rarely saw him anymore. He wasn't even home on Sundays. The last time I saw him was when we ran into each other one night while I headed to the bathroom. He saw me and simply said, hello, and walked away. This upset me very much. I told my mom about it. Unfortunately, I don't recognize your father anymore, she replied sadly. Across my bed was a huge teddy bear my mom gave me for my seventh birthday. I named him Tuffy. I pointed the camera at Tuffy and snapped a picture. Then I checked the digital screen on the back of the camera to see how it came out. What was that? There was a four or five-year-old girl right next to Tuffy. I looked up at Tuffy. There was no girl, of course. My heart started pounding. I was so scared that I threw the camera on my bed. I grabbed my backpack and left home for school. That night when I returned, I realized that Tuffy wasn't in my room. My mom was making dinner in the kitchen. Mom, where's Tuffy? I asked. Remember you told me Tuffy's fur is bad for my allergies? So I took it to the daycare center in the neighborhood. The kids loved it, she replied. I ran to my room when I heard that. I brought the camera for her to see, and I told her what had happened that morning. Mom, you can laugh at me, but I think this camera shows the future. There was a girl next to Tuffy when I took the photo. Now I understand why. You are going to donate it to the daycare. The camera shows what will happen to your subject in the future. That's why a little girl played with Tuffy in the photo I took this morning. Mom <laughs> laughed. Honey, I'm so impressed with your imagination. I pointed the camera toward my mom. Then let's do a test, I said, hitting the shutter. When I looked at the screen, I screamed. What's wrong, honey? My mom asked. I showed her the camera's screen. Her eyes widened. <gasps> In the photo, my mom was in a hospital room. She was lying in the hospital bed with one of her legs in a cast. It looked like my mom would have an accident and break her leg at some point in the future. But, but how, how could this happen? She stuttered. Mom, please go to your bedroom, lock your door, and don't get out. We need to prevent this accident, I said. My mom was panicking too. She did what I said without a word. I went back to my room and found my phone. I was going the to call my dad and ask him to come home, now. but I couldn't reach him because his phone was off. A few hours later, I heard my mom reach out to me. When I went to her bedroom, she said, I need to use the bathroom, but I'm scared. If you're super careful, I'm sure you'll be okay, I comforted her. Mom went to the bathroom, checking every step she took. Thankfully, she came out of the bathroom quickly. She went back to her room with the same careful steps. The person you called I called my dad again. His now. phone was still off. In the meantime, I fell asleep. I woke up to a startling noise. I heard my mom's ear-splitting scream. I ran to my parents' bedroom. It was dark inside. I turned the light on. I saw my mom on the floor writhing in pain. She was holding her foot. My dad stood beside her, watching what was happening with bewildered eyes. Oh, mom, what happened? I screamed. She said, moaning in pain. Oh, I woke up to some noise. I got up to check what it was about. The room was dark, so I tripped on something and fell. My dad picked up his suitcase from the floor. I realized my mom had tripped on my dad's suitcase in the dark. Why do you have your suitcase packed, dad? Are you going somewhere? I asked. I'm leaving home. I just want to live for myself. I don't care what you do. Mom was in pain. Are you leaving us? She asked, forcing herself to speak. Yes, I came to pick up some of my stuff and leave you the divorce papers. You need to sign them, he said. My mom started crying. She needed to be taken to the hospital as soon as possible. I dialed the number of the ambulance. I explained what the situation was and gave them our address. Soon the team of paramedics arrived. They carried mom to the ambulance. My dad and I were following them in my dad's car. I had my mysterious camera in my hand. I said, Dad, do you know this camera has an incredible feature? 
It takes photos of the future. I knew mom would have an accident because of this camera, but I still couldn't stop it from happening. He looked at me perplexed. Then he laughed out loud. <laughs> and your mom believes this too? Sounds like I'm leaving this house at the right time. You two loonies can live there happily ever after. I pointed the camera toward him and hit the shutter. The only way to make him believe was to show him his future. Then I looked at the screen on the camera. I was shocked by what I saw in the photo. Now I knew why my dad was leaving us. If I told him I knew his secret, he would take precautions. That's why I decided to keep it to myself. What's wrong? Did your miraculous camera not work this time? Oh, go ahead, snap another pic, he said to me teasingly. We arrived in front of the hospital. I opened the car door without saying anything. My dad handed me a big wad of cash. He said, I'm not coming into the hospital. Think of me as your mom's ex-husband. This is the paperwork for the divorce. Tell your mom to sign these. I'll pick them up tomorrow morning. I got out of the car, and my dad drove away. I looked at his photograph as I was walking to the hospital. I still couldn't believe how he could do this to his family. I walked into the hospital. The doctors in the emergency room did what they had to do. The x-ray showed two fractures in her foot. The following day, I was in the hospital room with my mom. It was exactly like the photo. My mom was lying in bed with one leg in a cast. So we can't change the future. Perhaps it's better to not know what it holds, she said with a smile. I was dying to show mom dad's photo. Mom, I took dad's photo in the car as we were driving here, I said, showing her what was on the screen. Mom sat up slightly to see the photo. In the photo, my dad was on a stage. There were journalists around him. A man gave him a huge check that said $4 million. Even though this was an incredible amount of money, my dad looked devastated. Did he win the lottery? My mom asked in shock. I replied, yeah, he'll probably get the money today, but he wants you to sign the divorce papers before that. My mom's face lit up. She figured it out. According to the law, half of his winnings belong to his wife. He's divorcing me so he doesn't have to give me my share. <laughs> then he'll go and pick up the check and keep all the money to himself. I knew what my mom was talking about because I had spent all night researching those laws. I smiled playfully. But he won't be able to execute this plan because we discovered his secret, thanks to my camera. And maybe that's why he looks so sad in the photo. As he's receiving the check, he knows he has to give you half of the money. My mom and I laughed out loud. Meanwhile, my dad walked in. Without asking my mom how she was doing, he asked, Did you sign the papers? She replied coldly, No, I haven't. But don't worry. I'll sign them after I get my share. My dad's face went pale. What share are you talking about? My mom said, I'm talking about my share of the jackpot. I know you won $4 million from the lottery and are getting the money today. I will sign the divorce papers when you deposit my fair share of 50% of the money into my bank account. My dad asked, shocked. But this is impossible. How do you know that? My mom shrugged. Just then, my dad realized I was holding the camera. Did you find out about this through that camera? Is that camera really taking photos from the future? Dad, do you hear what you're saying? As you said, my mom and I are a pair of loonies, and that story about photos from the future is a made-up story by those loonies, I replied. Just as Dad was going to say something else, my mom shut him up. This conversation is over. If you don't send me the money in two hours, I won't divorce you, and you'll be married to this loon all your life. My dad left without saying another word. Two hours later, they called my mom from her bank and told her that $2 million had been transferred into her account. We need to move to a town where dad can't find us, I told my mom. That surprised her. Why would you say that? Why should we run from him? I don't think your dad would want to see us anymore. I showed my mom the camera. I took dad's picture as you two were arguing. Look, he's going to be homeless in the future. <gasps> homeless? My mom screamed. I showed her the photo. Exactly. It looks like he's going to spend away his share of the money. He's going to go broke and live on the streets. In that situation, the first thing he would do would be to find us and ask us for money. We need to move somewhere he cannot possibly find us. We did everything we talked about that day. It's been a year now. We still haven't seen my dad. 
Now, I know that the camera sometimes shows what will happen soon, and sometimes not so soon. I don't know if my dad has money or is homeless, but I know that thanks to my camera, he will be broke one day and regret everything he's done to me and my mom.